Well, hello, True Life. Uh, welcome to our YouTube Devos. My name is Laura, and I'm really excited to just go ahead and dive into God's Word today. Uh, today, we're actually going to be looking in the book of Jonah. For those of you who don't uh, aren't familiar with the book of Jonah, it is a story about a man who is obviously named Jonah, and he is actually the first foreign missionary in the Bible. He was around during the 8th century, and we're going to take a look at just the beginning part of his story. And it says in verse 1, The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it because its wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down to Joppa where he found a ship bound for that port. After paying the fare, he went aboard and sailed for Tarshish to flee from the Lord. So here we see the Lord has given Jonah a very specific calling. He has called Jonah to go and preach to the city of Nineveh. And instead of following God's commands, Jonah splits. And I think for modern audiences, it can be a little confusing as to, you know, why would Jonah just completely disobey God and go somewhere he wasn't supposed to. And the reason is that at the time when Jonah was being called to visit the city, Nineveh was a really scary and violent place. Uh, it was not a great place to be. The people there were cruel. Uh, crazy things happened to people there, and it just wasn't a safe place for him to be. And so Jonah was obviously worried for his own safety. And um, that is our first point, is that we need to run to God in the unknown instead of running away from what he has called us to. We know that our God is an almighty God, and we know that uh, we can trust him when we are running into stuff that doesn't make sense. It doesn't seem like it could possibly work out for our benefit. But um, it says in Isaiah that as the heavens are higher than the earth, so his ways are higher than our ways. And we need to trust that God will have a plan for us and that he will keep us safe. And the second point is once we run to God, we need to be obedient to God. Uh, it mentions twice that Jonah ran away from the Lord. And I think that's really significant because the writer here is trying to tell us in just how much Jonah, he heard this commandment and he just went, no, I'm going to go this way instead. And we need to, when we receive a calling, we need to answer that calling. We, I think sometimes we can get really caught up in what a calling means. Uh, sometimes we think it's uh, full-time vocational ministry as like a pastor maybe. But uh, I believe that God's called each and every one of us. Uh, we need teachers and artists and scientists and moms and dads and social workers and all kinds of people. And I believe that uh, callings, whether they're big or small, if they come from God, they need to be listened to. And so your calling might look different from those around you, but it doesn't mean it's any less and it doesn't give you a license to just run away from it. If God's called you to it, you need to be obedient. And the third point is that God empowers us even when we doubt our own calling. Uh, further on in the book, we see Jonah's pretty famous for getting thrown overboard on the way to Tarshish, and he's eaten by a whale. And after he repents, he spit back onto dry land, and he ends up at Nineveh anyway. And he is able to go there, and it says the entire city turns to God. And it just goes to show that if Jonah had tried to turn the city in his own power, he would probably have not as been as successful. But when we have a God like our God on our side, we can trust that he will fill in the gaps. He will give us the strength and the courage to fulfill out our calling. He will give us all of the tools we need. Uh, a little saying that we like to say here at True Life is that God does not always call the equipped. He equips the called. And so now that we've gone over that, we can start discussing some questions. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video and discuss these questions with your groups or work through them yourself. Uh, my first question is, was there ever a time you avoided trying something new because you were scared? And that can be something really serious or it can be something as simple as uh, I didn't want to ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad at Disneyland because it looked scary. And my second question for you is, what are some ways that we can strengthen our trust in God? 
So that's all I have for you today. I love going through the Bible and I love being able to talk about the story of Jonah. So uh, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this. Maybe comment uh, a Devo topic that you'd like us to cover next week. Go ahead and give us a like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to hear more from us. We're going to be doing these every week. We have some really exciting new stuff coming to our channel. We really don't want you to miss out. So have a great rest of your week and have a great rest of your day.